Hey guys, welcome back to Cast Forward Fishing. As always, I'm your host, Rob Couture. A cast forward, a do 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 cast forward, a do 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 cast forward, a do 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 do. Well, my friends, we have a very new piece of equipment to us. It is a 2015 Polaris Indy LXT 550 fan. I've been spending the last month or two here getting it all outfitted. An excellent ice fishing machine. I did a few tricks and a few mods to this girl. So first being this uh, Polaris Extreme Bumper. And we used the Colpin Heavy Duty Rifle Mounts, which second as a auger mount. I was uh, able to purchase a Arc Lab fish finder mount and I have my Helix 9 here mounted on the dash with uh, my hummingbird mapping. It's uh, a bit of overkill actually, but you know, you use what you have. This Helix 9 doubles as my kind of my nav uh, chart in my boat as well. So, I mean, I only have the uh, Garmin LiveScope LVS uh, 34 with the uh, nine inch screen and this nine inch Helix Hummingbird. So you never want to run your uh, fish finder off the battery. So what I ended up doing was I ran a cable underneath the seat out the back of the machine and I made an adapter here on the power box so I can easily take this off and uh, when I go trail riding and it's not a big deal and inside the box I have a another power box is and this is what we're uh, running the Helix 9 off of. So yeah, that wire just comes all the way from the dash to the back of the machine, plugs into that port on the outside, and then I have another cable that goes on the inside here into our battery box. This thing is amazing. I have a, um, believe, a Dakota Lithium uh, 9 or 10 amp hour battery in this particular box. Haven't really put it to the test very often. You know, I would imagine probably get somewhere between five and eight hours use with the Helix 9, but really I'm only using it for navigating, so it's not a big deal. And this is my new to me, but very used Otter flip over. I don't know if you guys noticed the running theme with me. I am not sponsored by Otter yet, but I absolutely love the Otter products. I have three Otter tents, including this one. I have the Otter Vortex Monster Lodge. I have the Otter Vortex Lodge and the Otter XT Pro Lodge. We have this thing pimped out as well. We have some Hogs Outdoors uh, LED lights that are permanently installed. Up here in the main bar. Kind of did the same thing as what we did in the other sled box. We have this uh, wire running down here to be attached to a power box and run it. And we've got a couple milk crates in the back. One for the propane tank which I'm currently not using, it's at the other tent, and for a little buddy heater. So this tent is well used, as you can see, but uh, they're fairly expensive here in Canada, and they're kind of hard to come by, especially used. So I managed to, uh, so I managed to find this one on Facebook Marketplace in Fargo, North Dakota 
contacted the guy. He was kind enough to hold it for me till I could get there a couple days later and uh, did a turn and burn. Went down, picked it up. It was about 400 US dollars at the time. Converted to Canadian, was about 600 bucks. Definitely could not find something this quality uh, or this caliber here for 600 bucks in Canada. If you guys haven't done so already, please do me a favor, hit that like and that subscribe button down below. And until next time, my friends, fish on. A cast forward, a do 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 cast forward, a do 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 cast forward, a do do do.